Mago Vonen and welcome. I am Neodlin and today we are beginning our Winter Tooth Norskan campaign. And we are beginning with looking at how to play Winter Tooth. So we obviously, as the Norskan factions did in Total Warhammer 1, we have the allegiance to the gods. The certain god we choose. Once we get to tier 3, we get a certain gift. And that also triggers um, chaos to storm forth and begin to ruin the world itself. But more, but more into that when we get to it, which is going to be a couple, a, a very long time away, actually. Then there's the Monstrous Arcanum, which we can use to embark upon special quests to hunt down massive, powerful beasts and gain massively powerful relics. Then there's the Tribe of Confederation. The best way to try... Um, to uh, come together with the tribes is to fight off their faction leader and then a, like an event happens where you can either kill off their leader like permanently so they're never coming back um, release them to get increased public um, increased happiness with them or immediately confederate now I think an immediate confederation means you don't get their lord I haven't tested this but I am willing to try then there's a Marauder Outpost. So, un so unlike other factions, I think this is stuck, stuck around compared to um, with other um, Mortal Empire campaigns. You can only build you build buildings inside of Norska. We can only build settlements inside of Norska, and any set any out like outposts, you can only build on here. Otherwise. There's like like Khazid Borkarak can't build there, I don't think. Krakadrak can't, can't build there. Jotrakan can't build there. So there's, pl there's places like that that aren't in actually in Norska or don't start off as a, with a Norskan faction inside of them. I can't really use. So obviously the main theme of this campaign is to raise a lot in favour of one of the Dark Gods. I haven't decided which of the Dark Gods I'm going to go for. We'll start going for that later. The harsh and desolate wastes of Norska embrace you into its cold and wintry grip, my lord. Yet it cannot sustain your appetite for war indefinitely. You will need to voyage from this land to raid and pillage. Your gods will gaze favorably upon you for this. Raise in their name and align yourself with one to be granted their twisted and ruinous gifts. Thank, thank you, um... Ad ad um, advisor, save me from having to read all this. So, Battle time is feeding time. So, frog starts with copious vomits. I'm not even going to pretend pretend to do that because that might actually make me throw up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is our starting army. We get some marauders, some Norskan ice wolves. Some Norskan Warhounds, a unit of Norskan Ice Trolls and Trolls. And we start in Winterpire. As you might notice, we've got a few more units than what you might normally be used to. It's because I've decided um, from a friend's advice to get the Radius mod. Which is a very, very interesting mod. It increases um, like background income so you can have host larger armies um, more frequently in the early game. They've added a massive roster of units to every nation. This is just showing from, from uh, just from the Winter Pies selection trees on its own. And first zone is more if you get to a faction, or not a faction, a province capital. And then you've got like the aspirants of the six, the four different Chaos Guards. We've got uh, Crimson Skull Cultists, Skull Binders. Lots of fun new units that I'm going to be um, experimenting with. These won't. I don't want these to go into the into the Nagarfe campaign. No, I keep saying Nagarfe, Nagriff campaign. Unless um, you want, unless you guys want me to. So le leave a comment down below if you want this mod to be incorporated into the Nagar um, Nagriff campaign. So begin my upgrade in the Raider camp. Speak. Now then, who are we at war with? We're currently only at Bring war death. with the Naglar things. The Naglafarings. I'm not going to pretend to know how to pronounce it. But they only have the Aceling Conclave and the Ultra Spawns. And I'm going to immediately start moving in. Right I say immediately. 
I'm going to start getting some units. So we can get the Chaos Marauders with dual weapons. So they're anti-infantry. And they almost double the cost of the ordinary Marauders. Then you've got Marauders with great weapons. You've got Hunter. You've got Hunters with Javelins. And then you've got some Spearmen. I feel like I'm going to need some anti-infantry. Anyway. Because these guys aren't anti-infantry. They're just armor-piercing. So let's get those dual weapons and the research trees. We're going to begin with war tools. I want to be reducing the costs and improving my marauder units above all else. Since obviously they're going to be the main units or the main roster for our faction. What? So the raiding camp, uh, similar to as in actual chaos, um, it's... Yeah, it's literally the same apart from minus no! a few things, obviously. Crush bones! Isn't good. I'm gonna Oh, I can't get out of it now. That there we go. Was my that's, idea. that's not as stupid. That's any turn. So obviously as Norskans, we don't have many allies. And we don't plan to keep many allies either because we only confederate we can only confederate with Norskans, obviously. And Chaos doesn't actually arrive until we've aligned ourselves with one of the Chaos Gods and gone through some crazy hard trials. At least that's what I've seen, and they might have changed a few things to make it more balanced into a Warhammer 2. Yeah, I've had a lot of time to work on this, and I really hope that they've um, given Norska the the, pr the proper um, sort out they needed because obviously, obviously there was a few OP things about um, fearing yourselves with one of the dark gods compared to the others one of which was the icebound legion the, uh, what happens when you uh, fully align yourself with corn those four hell cannons were OP from what I, from what I saw and from what I know and from what I um, tested with every now and then they were OP so I might, I, I might not go for them just to try and make it not not like, not 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 easy, but definitely not um, a, a, just a small bonus. I gotta get these camera high, high animation speed, fastest, fastest. Actually, no, keep it fast. If I want to go fast, I can just use the key. So for those that don't know what the uh, Norskans or the Lord of the Monsters Monstrous Horde gives, it's a simple bonus to trolls and ice trolls. So obviously giving trolls or monster. getting lots of trolls is a good thing. A better thing than getting other things like skin wolves. Which I can show here. Obviously having a unit that's anti-large and has regeneration is really good. But it does make you want to go more for trolls. To be with frog, uh, tro frog, trog, one of the two, just because they cost less, and they have an increased bonus. Is time. Let's get a couple of going to anyway. javelin units, and then move up to the Aisling Conclave. They're leaving the somewhere. And I'm eager for a fight. It's been another long, warm day. I don't plan to make allies with anyone because I want to be taking everywhere. So this is this this is going to be what um, is going to be a literal um, what it what would happen if chaos was to take over everything and rule over well not rule over everything but devote everything to their gods, the ruinous powers. All will serve. Or die.
What the? Well, that was quick. The fog already confederate with the scaling, so all I need to do is find Serpent Egg, beat him, and we just get massive bonuses. Now then, I kind of want to get some of these new units, so just to show them off. So Kurgan Hunters. How are they compared to... Better in every way. Better in every way. Better in every way. And then the Marauding, Marauding Berserkers are slightly better than them. So they're more of a ambushing unit. These are just flat out better. No, there's more of them. That was my idea! Got some Kurgan Hunters, just to show I rule! Now I've also got some Marauder Hunters. Turn to turn. Apologies for not speaking much, my throat's still killing for those I don't know. And just trying not to speak too much, but speak enough. So I know some people don't like the, com the constant running commentary, and some people just like um, hearing a good bit here and now. I'd rather not take a break. I'd rather just keep keep getting these videos out. Just keep soldiering on. So now we have the war tools. Let's get the blade worker's hammer. I eat my enemies. Oh, then frog, it's time you start eating. Denied. As I've Dog. been looking yep. forward to this. Just need to kill him. My ice is can begin our... I don't even need to confederate with them, I could just take their land by force. Yeah, that's more fun. What's the fun in, in forcing them into service when I could just take them on, take them on by force? I'm sure I don't think they're real the new lord will be. And give further praise to Dark Powers. You do love a good bit of slaughter. Monster. Only level one. Let's get a sizable garrison. You're a pretender. Ah, who yes. cares? Let's go in. Killing at last. Oh. Hmm. I forgot Lamondal had a frost worm. Hmm. What to do? Let's do it.
I really hope this doesn't go too poorly. Uh, we'll be fine. The worst thing that can happen is that we all die. In which case, we won't see any of this. Uh. That's the master of speed! Tremble, mortals! Norsk and Ice Wolves. Beautiful. Oh, they are. Oh, they added so much niceness to these. And I say all that, it's much case. Oh, aren't they adorable? We've got our trolls. Troll. Don't, don't mess with a giant troll. I mean, he's, he's no co-op, but uh, still. So big! Fuck chaos! So be it! Yes! More ground! So I lost 212. I could just sack. Actually, no. Let's see what order this will happen in. Unfortunately, I wasn't—I wasn't gonna get get that frost worm, which is a bit sad. So I really wanted it. I wanted it a lot. An early because if I if I could buy that frost worm, that would have been a massive helping hand. I can occupy, sack, or raise to any of these: the gods, the eagle, the serpent, the crow, or the hound. 
out. I think I'm just gonna fucking die. Yeah, the leader of the of the Nagalor, the Nagal Faring, Farlings tribe has been defeated. A once powerful warlord. I could have confederate with them to stop them from becoming a nuisance up here. But I don't like them, so I'm gonna execute the enemy and eminently enemy warlord. I can't I can English, I promise. Lord of the Monster Horde! Oh yeah, another thing of this, um, the Radius mod. It gives uh, two skill points to every... That's so that's another good thing. Get Norse Resilience. Oh yeah, we've got all these. As well. Some are Regiments of Renown, some are Special Units. Which are also very cool. All be slaves! Oh yeah, now I've got the Ace and Champion. I'll show you the other buildings you can make. We can get the Chaos Totem and the Altar of the Brotherhood. Well, the Bloodfathers, I mean, not the Brotherhood. So that gives us Mammoths and Giants. Which are very, very cool. An army of Mammoths is not OP, but definitely very scary. Actually, no, they're OP. <laughs> they are very OP. Get and some anti armor piercing. At least for now. Some more chaos memorials with dual weapons as well. A step too far! The army. Gunda of the Worm Kid. I take it you're now the new faction leader. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be re. Your pathetic little army. <laughs> I don't think so. So Obviously, there's the other um, legendary lord, Wolfric the Wanderer. We're going to encounter him eventually. And once I beat him in combat, I shall confederate with Wolfric. I think he's the only one I'm actually going to be willing to confederate with. The others, I will happily take my force. I don't want this campaign to be so easy just from simple confederation. Because it does get pretty stupid after a while. On how quickly you can... This literally, by turn 10, you can have all of Norska just because you managed to defeat... Um, the faction leaders of the, the different um, Norse factions. It's it, it's ridiculous. I'd rather have a nice, long drawn out time in Norska. Actually earn the territory instead of it coming with the title. It's what Trog would do. Yeah, you run up, you you run off now to your little home in Altar of Spawns. See how long you last. So I'll be coming for you, and nothing will save you. Uh, don't really need that. Can't wait to get the ruinous altar. First dash. Or I can get the Warhound Kennel. Oh yeah, another thing. I think they added in Norse War they added in poison Warhounds. So I don't think they originally had them. Yeah, let's get the Warhound Kennels. King on trials. Move in. My ice age comes. Get rid of the ordinary Chaos Marauders. They're, they're not the monster to horde. And get some. I knew it. So we're going to get some more Marauder Berserk. Uh, 
That was my idea! Two more Kerbin Hunters, and another unit of Marauder Hunts. Mar uh, Marauder Hunters. So that way I've got a nice balance between anti infantry, shielded Vanguard units. Obviously, I can get some more Warhounds later. Uh, yeah. Save for another unit. So they, they, it can be very good early on. Especially against the because they have very little. At least for the beginning, anyway. That can, that can very quickly change. Apologies if anyone can hear shouting in the background. Yeah, I think the only other factions we might be working with are other Chaos factions. So, the Beastmen, obviously. Because they're, again, like a wandering nation. Then there's the Warriors of Chaos, which we can work with, or we can fight against them and become our own, like, bosses and kind of stuff like that. Which I might do. I do like that idea of being my own boss. That's just my preference. When, when we get to it, it might... My uh, opinion time is feeding time! Oh, I'm not in range yet. I'm gonna get Move. And I'm gonna raid. Oh, no look of recruitment. Oh, yeah, this, this one then, the Ice Forge Legion. It's four hell cannons, and it's. Oh, it's, it is busted. It is so busted. Oh, I didn't know I'm making. I've got some of them already. It's Madness. hilarious. No. It's time Gunda dies to the monstrous horde. Another good thing, Krakadrak is less likely to focus me, well, the, um, the Norskan tribes, because there's also the, there's also the Skaven at Hell Pit they have to deal with. Actually, that's something I haven't thought of. Because originally, it's just the old world nations, but now because there's also all the new worlds. Oh, the world is meat for my you want peace, you're not getting peace. You're gonna die. So let's actually check, because I think it comes in the technology reviews. Yeah, Seekers of Steel and Magic and all that you get from. Claiming Corone, Miragliano, 
Karazakarak, um, Altdorf, Drakenhof, and Black Crag slash uh, Karak Drazg. Then there's uh, he then there's Henry, Skaven Blight, uh, Hexawattle, Lothurn, and Nagarond. Nice. Very nice. Hero flesh. I knew it. Charge in. Probably gonna be fighting it again. Oh my God! Yeah. I don't like the. I don't like the chance of the auto resolve. No, no, no! I'm not taking those risks. I know what happens when I listen to auto resolves. Things go wrong. Just ask any person who's played um, Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer and played against a dwarf faction and auto resolved and lost everything. So one um, to one um, general. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it's also very, very funny. I can just start with a massive army and then everything just goes. So, just so hilarious. So then, let's have the Kurgan Hunters up atop the hill. They will succumb! Zerk is here. Your will! Hunters here. Ha! Very well! Why well, I say Berserkers? I haven't got Berserkers. Hey, puppies over here. I know they're not actually my puppies, but um, I'm calling them my puppies. I'm ready! Very well! I don't actually have the code of hunters. No, yeah, with, with a description that big, you, you know, it, you know, it had to be done by um, someone. Destroy their world. Go on, frog. Time to throw up something. Give me my oh, thumbnail. There we go. Sending great weapons against dwarves. Not the smartest idea. Fuck chaos! Surround them. Gonna destroy them! Don't mess up a hungry troll. Chaos marauders! So be it! Focus there. This was not meant to be. Warriors in the center. And yes. Yeah. This was not meant to be. Ah, uh, they're rousing up the cows there. Pathetic. No. No two more still with bleed. That's what the master speak. Especially when, especially when the blood is still is still yet to spill. true Norse tribe flees from battle when the blood has yet to spill further lest they be cowards not deserving of the dark gods blessings
this rig. And we shall just fly again. The Var... The Varag's Beast Trainer. When Varag's Skull Tamer fell in battle, he left behind some really useful retainers. That's, that's pretty good in late game, I guess. Right, for those that haven't noticed it, our um, buildings, unlike in other areas, don't, we don't have so much. It's kind of a way of nerfing the, the, how powerful we can actually become. Let's get the Ruinous Altar and meet that public order. My eyes the corruption, but, eh, can never go wrong with too much corruption. We can never go wrong with cor more corruption, eh? Uh, okay, so the kind of army Trog wants to go tro uh, is good for Trog. An army of trolls and familiar warriors and frost worms. Okay, warhounds, marauder hunters, berserkers, champions. Okay, the dominating presence. Improve Marauder Hunting units. Trollord. Then let's get some. Uh, let's get some water. Let's, have a crack. let's keep it nice and diverse, shall we? Got a lot of, got a lot of diversity. Eh? I eat my now then, the Varg. I take. I've got quite a lot. I'll see if I can make a non aggression. We are here. both their puppets. But the masters have sent you here to die. Very well, you want war, then it's war you it shall ha be, sir. Sir for Eck. And you shall lose. Just know that your failure to appease the Dark Gods will give me all of Norska in one fell swoop. It will be beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it will be beautiful. Just hand me all of Norske in one fell swoop. I wonder what it's been like with the Norsken tribes. Been playing Warriors, the Warriors of Chaos now that Norska has arrived. Hmm. Next campaign, seen about a year. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm, I might. I might just do a bit of a um, background testing. Just seeing everything around, see what happens. I, I might attempt to do a cult a, a campaign with one, with one of my friends. I'm not sure yet. It, it may depend on their schedule and my schedule actually um, working together, which I will admit is not an easy thing. Am I going to enter the video soon? I ran out, ran out of water and my throat's killing me. Beasts of War. The creatures of the Chaos Waste are blessed from the Dark Gods, who should use their mortal children and bring them to ruin. A war beast. I don't think these count as wee, be uh, wee beasts. Oh, they do count as war beasts. And what's the bonus? Recruitment cost and. Oh. Well, if I make another army, I'll be right For now, I can't really be bothered. Oh, I've got me throats going. This is not good. Uh, I can't keep up for a little bit longer, but I don't, I don't think this is going to be lasting much longer. Let's 
again we've got some population surplus, just enough to upgrade. When I think about it, there are a few factions that aren't actually chaos based that I could go and ally with. Hagenath is one of them. Court of Pleasure as well. Because Morafi is obviously just a event of pure chaos. Vampires? No, I'm, I'm, no I don't like them. I don't like having to live with vampires. Oh, Kislev's moved up. Cocky buggers. We'll have to deal, do something about that eventually. I never actually checked what was in my. Um, I was in the water altar of. whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, this is so unprofessional. Uh, but I guess I'm not at that level yet. It might take a year or two. Or 50. <laughs> Uh. You bring a message, or just your flesh for me to eat? I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I'm not giving you anything. No. No. You can get on your hands and knees and beg if you think you're getting any money from me. Get there. He's getting there. King on Just Does that the Sol encampment? Declare war on the open war. I have to make a second army. Stupid, misshapen, diabolic splendor. Oh, and it's Azric, the maze keeper. This is the guy I want to be going for because he looks cool as a lord of change as well. It's not something to, to just um, say no to. So, diabolic splendor or stupid? No, I'm kidding. I'm just going to go for the Diabolic Splendor. Slaughter the sheep. Slaughter the eagle guides me. You have my favor. In agreement. Yeah, Warhounds. Only one. Because the others will get a bonus. Get yeah, some Kurgan. Uh, actually, no. Let's, let's, again, diversify. Let's get some Marauder Berserkers. Battle time is speedy time! Look at straight! Let's fight in Silent Kill. In my garret! I'm gonna auto, auto this one. I can, I can take the risk of the auto. I've got Sword of Might. Winter Tooth! Don't have berserkers. Let's go for more hardened hunters. My eyes oh, no. I don't think I want the sparring. Actually, no, I'll keep the sparring fields because I'm going to need it. I have a feeling I'm going to need the sparring fields in almost every region. Just so I can very quickly build the farmers. Can't really use global recruitment because that takes four turns to get anything. It's not even worth it, honestly. So, obviously, can't train from Monster's Arcanum for those who wanted to see. Next is the, the Bay of Blades and the Tower Crack. I'm tempted to raise these two regions so that way I'm not um, neighboring Kislev, I'm not making myself an, a target, is the main reason, actually. So in the Sarling Cannon, I will actually have the ship. Because so I'm going to just raise the Bear Blaze and Tower Crack. I'm going to focus on 
in the early game, I want to be focusing on... Oh, what's the best thing to go for? Or keep reduction? Casualty replacement rate? Yes, yeah, so let's go for the crow to begin with. Get him to like level 2. And then focus all on the eagle. Battle time is early time. No, no, so I do want to get that law of change. So we've now only encountered Kislev. I find that very unbelievable. If you want my opinion, I find that very unbelievable. Come on out, Surfer Eck. It's time you and I had some fun. Trog hasn't eaten in days. Weeks, almost. He started eyeing up our own troops. We need something to eat soon. Oh, it looks like they failed somewhere. Oh, someone's been making a move on Joe Tracken. That might be Skaven. Not likely Norskin, because I did see their army getting beat down by Kislev. They say I don't stand a chance against the Varg. Ha! I say. I say it again. Ha! Hmm. What to get? I think we got the Guard Shack. I eat my enemies! make it difficult for them to do anything to me. The Beast of War mission was successful. Ultra Spawns can get the Obsidian Quarry, which gives incre increased income. Construction costs for all buildings reduced by a nice. Yep, nice. That could actually become very useful in the future. Understood. There's some more Warhounds while they've got the bonus. This lasts for eight turns. Okay. Start raising to the crow. A step too far. Disorder. Again. Then this was one big battle against their full against the Vogs full stack. After that, we'll call it a video. If they move in on me, they might not. But if they do, they're going to get their asses beat. The sooner I can get the Sarl encampment to actually be defend defensible, giving it a nice garrison and so forth, is going to be very good for me. Just got to go for all these so we can see what an enemy is going to do. Hopefully it's something fun. I hate watching a dull AI do nothing. I'm sure you guys do too. And that's the end of... Oh, they showed mercy. Well, didn't show mercy, they probably just sacked. But still, they showed mercy. I don't care how you see it. They showed... They showed some kind of mercy there. And mercy they're going to regret. Nah, I'm kidding. They're probably going to come back and kill them next turn. I still need to be ever present, ever wary of those dwarves, though. They could have come out of nowhere and bite me in the arse. What 
what to do, what to do. Let's find out what we're about to do. Doesn't look like I can see anything else happening. Uh oh, the sword of Cain has been claimed. Oh, you boring AI. King on Charles! Good as dead! You're not gonna move in, and then I'll make my move. In my gullet! The other trickster shard is mine, and a Var another Varric's Beast Tamer. Nice. I'll give that to. Overrun the world! Sigdon. Who's going to get some more berserkers? Mutant beast! I kind of want to get more money from sacking, so... Let's do that. I will. Look at that temple. It's throwing up a bit, though. So anyway, I think I'll call this the, this the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you want to see more of this. Um, obviously, the, the Niagara of campaign is going to also be overlapping with this. So it might be, uh, sometimes it's going to overlap. Sometimes it will depend on whether or not I want to focus on one or the other. But I will see you next time. Hope you all enjoyed. And farewell.